What's up, my Supreme Black family? It's your big Ken Folk, Jay Flay, coming at you again with a Supreme Black podcast short. Here in the news lately, I want to take a little bit of time and think about, about this one and get all the information needed. But there's been a hot topic in news right now. It's been Leah Thomas. If you don't know, Leah Thomas is a transgender woman uh, that won not too long ago a uh, swimming championship. I want to say she broke a record as also. Uh, if you don't know, Leah Thompson was a male swimmer. Uh, three years that was ranked 400 for three years in college ranks took a year off transitioned to a woman and then came back and became the number one ranked uh women's swimmer in college ranks okay um i know it's been a lot of hot topic on this a lot of people talking about it a lot of people giving their opinions on if women should if men should be able to transition to women to compete in sports but the issue that i have and you know if how you feel about it and should they should not compete uh, in women's sports and naturally born women's sports, then leave your comment below. However, the issue that I want to bring up that I think a lot of people have forgot about and got swept on the rug is about two and a half years ago or two years ago, Caster Semina, a naturally born woman, uh, has been banned from performing the Olympics because she wouldn't take pills that would lower her testosterone. Uh, once again, they have verified that she was a naturally born woman, so it shouldn't be any type of problem in this situation. Now, I'm not going to bring race in this because she's not the only one, but it causes for confusion because you had Laura Hubbard that also transitioned from a man to a woman was able to perform in Olympics and weightlifting, which causes a lot of confusion. How do you ban one that is naturally born, however, was born with a certain genetic that you won't allow to participate in sports. However, you have someone who's transitioned from a man to a woman, and that is okay to participate in sports. Now, me, myself, if we all on the even playing field and we all applying by the same rules or whatnot, I don't have an issue with it. It just brings up a red flag and a lot of confusion. We got somebody born as a natural woman that you're telling if you don't take these certain supplements and which they will not take because it might harm their body uh, and they like the way their body is and they don't want to take anything that's going to harm their body, which I completely understand for somebody who trained their entire life to make it to the Olympics, then I'm not going to take some type of substance that probably could harm me or might have some type of other banned substance in it, which causes me to be banned from going into Olympics because I was taking this type of medicine, you know. So I can completely understand where Castor is coming from with that. However, we need to figure this out. I, I'm, I don't get paid that amount of money to figure it out, but somebody at the upper level when it comes to these sports and Olympic games need to figure this out on what the rules are going to be. Because it just seemed unfair that somebody could be naturally born a man who transitioned to a woman to be able to complete, compete in the Olympics, but a natural born woman is not able to compete because of genetic features they were naturally born with. So it's just just completely confusing to me. And we have a lot. We have some that, you know, transition from men to women, women that is also have fought in the UFC. We need to get some bans and rules around that. I don't think everybody will be up in arms about this if we can get one set of rules on how this is going to process. I know they say, hey, we do have a set of rules. However, it seems like those set of rules have advantage for one end, but don't have advantage for somebody else who was born a natural woman that might be born with different genetics from anybody else. I mean, it, it just happens. We're all human. We're all different. So drop your comments below. Drop your thoughts below on what you think about this. Uh, Olympic committee, you definitely need to change the rules on this. If a natural born woman can't compete, however, a, woman, a man that transits to a woman can't compete. I don't know what that should be. I'm not the person to get paid to look that up. But however, I do think it's definitely not right at all.